What's up guys, Ian here, coach of your Latin Lantern, bringing you guys a week 10 game for NCL Season 9. Um, this is a win and in game for me. Uh, obviously there are three battles left, including the one today, but um, I'm in a position to clinch playoffs if I win this game. So if you have not seen the team builder, highly recommend checking that out. I went into great depth about what I'm bringing, why I'm bringing it, all that good stuff. Uh, a couple things to watch out for. We are hoping to not see um, Togetic in particular. Is something that I didn't think was coming, but I don't want to see it. Um, so let's see here. Fuck. I can't. Um, no Talon Flame is good, at least. So he did bring the big three Melodic Blissey. I figured those would come, and then I thought that Galarian Slowbro would be his pick, but instead it is uh, Togetic, which actually kind of sucks. My Garchomp is completely hard walled by it. Uh, have to rely a little bit more on Genesect into that one. Um, okay, let's look at what we got. So, yeah, the five that I predicted came to nobody's surprise. This is definitely Scarf or Trifu. No doubt in my mind about that. The Rockers, he's got three separate Rockers. I don't know what he wants to lead with, though, right? Like, he could lead any one of his big three attackers. He could lead Blissey if he wants. I think all of those would be reasonable. I'm very tempted to go, uh, like, a Cinderace lead and just, like, U-turn on something, or threaten something. How do I want to do this? I could also just lead Genesect, sort of scout out where he wants to go with things. It's not a horrible play against a Blissey or a Mawile lead, but let's just check and see. I should be able to Oko Mawile with Technoblast. Yeah, definitely do. And Blissey takes a ton of damage. I would be worried about it setting up rocks, I suppose. But really, what's my better lead against Blissey? Not Cinderace, that's for sure. So let's just go Genesect, I guess. We'll just lead Genesect, see what he wants to lead. Um, I lead okay into the Melodic here. Oh, I get an attack boost. So this is specially defensive Melodic, actually. How is... Uh, no, it's not. Even physically defensive, I get an attack boost off. Um, I, I think what I'm going to do... Is U-turn... Um... Is Slowking, though? Slowking the play. Oh, what's my best option here? I, I could just Leech Life. It's going to do a lot of damage, and then I can U-turn the next turn when he's going to recover and go into Gyarados. I think that's my play here. Seems like my best option. <sighs> Genesect isn't as threatened in this game as it could have been if there was a Slowbro or a Talon play. So I'm going to try and preserve Genesect as best as I can to break the Blissey. So I did 41. It's about what he, he recovered right away. And he does not have a Flame Orb. I did about a mid-roll to non-flame orb melodic. Have to imagine it's leftovers, I guess, then. I, I just leech life again, really. Or do I U-turn this time into Slow King? I think I U-turn this time, actually. I don't imagine why you'd recover this turn, but maybe. Like, you probably scald seeing that I have leech life. Yeah, there is the Scald. Um, seeing it do 9.2 is pretty satisfying, I have to say. Yeah, it's uninvested for sure. I mean, I can't do anything back to him, but if I'm him, I'm clicking what? Like, Toxic? Does he have Toxic? Ice Beam? Like, I probably click Toxic. I don't click Scald. 
Uh, so I'm just going to go back into Genesect. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, okay, so here's the deal with Genesect into this now. Blissey. Even physical defense uh, is getting two shot by Leech Life. Leech Life is really free for me, I think. Into the Blissey. Um, Melodic is going to get two shot now. Uh, will Melodic get two shot by Iron Head into Leech Life, actually? That's worth considering because I'm at full HP already. <sighs> Iron Head into Leech Life, let's say it does 19 into 39. Uh, it's 48, 58, 59.2. So I just need like a bit of a mid roll. So I could iron head here for sure. He is wish. Guess I'll leech life this turn. It's going to do the same damage to the blissey. And we get more on the melodic. Which is essentially going to heal up to full. But we find out that it is wish blissey. I didn't think he could afford to be wish blissey actually. I thought that it might um, only be... Probably Scald again, right? I thought that it might only be Soft Boiled. So he's Dragon Tailing me into Gyarados? No, Garchomp. Okay. Into Garchomp. Uh, recover Scald, Dragon Tail. I think I just sub here. See what he might have. He does have Ice Beam. Okay, so we know that he's three attacks Recover. And that he's physically defensive. So I just go back into Slow King. Uh, he's still probably Marvel Skill. And we know he doesn't have Toxic, so I'm not going to like willingly go into Genesect now. But truth be told, he can't really beat my Slow King with this 1v1. Uh, if I Scald and I burn him, then it's not great for me. So I think Shadow Ball's better. No, Shadow Ball's worse if the Blissey comes in. I just side Shock here. Scroll drag until Ice Beam. Ice Beam did 6.6. .6. Does it actually kill my Garchomp? It would not have at the range that I had it in, but now it would because I subbed. I could have just Earthquake twice and killed this, actually. That would have been a decent play. I don't know what I'm doing subbing when the Togetic hard walls, but whatever. 23. Now I have to imagine... This is going to recover, right? Does it even matter what my Gyarados does? Like, does Metagate Gyarados even kill this with Whip? No. It, it's not like an outright kill with Whip. I, I think I still take it. I, I think I still take it. There's the recover. So I think I still take it, and here's the reason why I think I still take it. Um, yeah, we baited in the Togetic, so... Find out what the Togetic is. He tanks the power of 16. It's not terrible. Togetic. 16 from power up tells me this is probably physically defensive. Gleam does a fair chunk to me. It's not going to kill me or anything, though. He could T-Wave. That might, might be a bit annoying. Flinch. Okay, so the flinch is actually big for me there. Uh, this means this probably has to recover, which means I'm going hard Genesect. Um, yeah, means I'm going hard Genesect. Oh, I still got an attack boost. That's really interesting, actually. Just gonna leech life on this. How did I get an attack boost off of the Togetic? I'm actually just going to U-turn into my Gyarados, because I don't think that you can afford to Scald here. And now I'm going to Waterfall. I'm going to Waterfall again. He might Flamethrower here. Oh, we get the Flinch off. So that's actually massive that we get the Flinch off there. Um, this actually just gives me a kill. 
This purely gives me a kill here. That flinch is massive. So I haven't been talking through those turns, but my idea is like, I need to force him into a turn where he's clicking soft blow. Like that's the downside of his defensive core is that he has to click recovery moves a lot and I can get a lot of good momentum off of those turns. Um, like the first flinch that I got on him the, the first time and this flinch is actually just massive, 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 massive. The fact that he's Togetic is in a position where it can't just recover now. Like he has to choose to either go into Melodic and tank the Waterfall and then die to a Power Whip, or like go. He has to like make some double switches around where he's trying to live, but he can't. Which essentially just gives me a kill, right? So if he goes, if he just gives me Togetic here, I'm fine with that. If he goes Melodic, tanks the Waterfall, it dies to Power Whip, or he doubles back into Togetic on the Power Whip, or he doubles into Mawile on the Power Whip. I mean, who even knows if I power whip, right? Maybe I click Earthquake to be safe against the Mawile, uh, which I think is probably the more likely answer to a power whip, but I also don't think that he's going to hard switch in Mawile on Gyarados without it being full HP, so um, there's a lot of things to, for him to consider here. I, th I personally think his best play right now is just sack the Togetic. That's what my personal opinion is, is just sack the Togetic. Because uh, it saves him a lot of trouble. But he is in a position where he's going to have to basically sack something. He obviously can't go Lando. I mean, I'm locking a waterfall. Okay, so he does sack the Togetic. That's fine for me. That's perfect for me as well, because that means that my Gyarados is no longer hard-walled by something. So the Mawile is what comes in. It's kind of what I figured. I'm going to go hard Tangrowth on this. I should be able to tank a player off. And if he subs, I can definitely just like Earthquake and break the sub. So I actually should be able to tank two player offs from the uh, from the Mawile, and we've, we're going to chip it a little bit with uh, with Rocky Helmet. This game is not in a great position for Cinderace yet. I need the Melodic dead, and then it'll be in a great position for Cinderace, I think. But Gyarados putting in massive work by getting the Togetic there. There's not going to be anything that can switch into Power Whip safely. And the next time, if he tries to bring in Mawile with no Intimidate, uh, it's just going to get bopped by the Earthquake. I don't kill it from this range, which is why I'm switching. Uh, he does play her off, and it is 50.9. So this tells me that this is probably adamant. Um, I am just going to Earthquake here, I think. It's my best play. Alternatively, I could lead Seed, but I think I'm going to Earthquake. I mean, I don't think you go Melodic. Um, there's a world where he goes Blissey and I, like, Leech Seed it. So I'm at 49.1. What's my actual HP value? 198. So it's a roll in my favor to live. Uh, I could Leech Seed here, get a bunch of HP back if he goes into the Blissey. Might be worth my time. It's really just about getting Chip on the Mawile, but it doesn't matter anymore, because uh, this is in range now of Gyarados. Okay, he goes Lando. Perfect for me. <clears throat> he could U-turn here, but I just go hard Slow King. I think he probably Sludge Waves. He could U-turn, though. He could definitely U-turn. We're going to get a bunch of HP back with Sangro, which means we can punish the Mawile further later. The Mawile also can't intimidate my Genesect anymore, which I think is important. I think I, I'm still convinced that this Urshifu is scarfed. Goes hard Blissey. That's cool. I mean, he could wish up here, but uh, what are you wishing up, right? Like, He definitely wants to wish up here. No shot he doesn't want to do that. The question is, do I go Gyarados or do I go Genesect to punish it? I think I go Genesect to punish it because I can U-turn out if he is able to wish pass into the Melodic. So there's the wish. Um, presumably I just leech life here. No real reason for him to go into the Mawile, right? So I just leech life. We'll see if he wants to protect. He does protect. Okay, so there's the protect. And now I just leech life. Um, Iron, I, Iron Head here, I think, actually. Because I, 
Uh, maybe he doesn't want to wish up for more. I, I think I Leech Life. It, it doesn't really matter. It's the same damage threshold, but Leech Life is just better against the Melodic switching enemy like that. It's not... I uh, wonder if it's Wakan. It could be uh, Rindo, actually. Could definitely be uh, be Rindo. We, it hasn't shown me leftovers. So I did 44. Leech Life is a roll to kill this. I'm just going to take it. We get the roll. Okay, perfect. So Melodic's dead, which opens up Cinderace a lot. The Blissey being full HP is not the best world for me, but Genesec can kind of always come in on it. Mawile coming in here uh, is whack, and I'm just going to Techno Blast you in the face. Uh, let me think about this for a second, actually, because I don't know what's going on with that. But Mawile looks to be like Adamant, Max Attack, um, Techno Blast, not at plus one. Um, is a fat roll to kill this? I don't have to take this. I could just U turn into Tangrowth right now. But he could also Swords Dance, and then my Tangrowth is completely useless. So I think I'll take the roll. I think I'll take the roll here. Um, wait, no, this isn't a roll. This is not a roll. If he's max HP, it's not a roll. Yeah, if, if he's max HP, this is not a roll. So I'm actually just... Um, I could Iron Head. I'm plus one. I could Iron Head. Uh, I, 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 I don't think it's worth it. Uh, I think U-turning is my better play. Because then the Mawa is just absolutely in range of everything. And tank growth is still a really free um, pivot for me here. Okay, so he does just fire thing straight up. Uh, 48.9. I mean, player off is still a roll for him. Um, I think I just leech seed again though this time. Urshifu might need a little bit of chip for Cinderace to kill it. Let's look into that. Definitely. Ooh, definitely. Needs definitely a little bit of chip to kill that. Oh, the Blissey comes in. Okay. There's a ton of HP back. Thank you, thank you. I'll go Garchomp this time. Rather than Genesect, in case he wants to try and T-Wave. I don't know what his moves could be, though. Could be like Estos? Something along those lines? Wish... SD in his face. So plus two Garchomp. I'm at full HP again. Um, if he is Life Orb, he doesn't kill me. So. Wow, this is a roll? Really? I'm just gonna click it. We'll see if we outspeed, is the main deal here. The main dealy -y 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 -lo. Uh If I outspeed, then he's life orb and I still live. If he outspeeds, I'm scarf or he's scarf and I won't live too, but I can always pivot back into slow king and then double out the turn after when he does pit pitiful damage to the slow king. But plus two chomp. Uh, I'm not gonna risk like subbing here in case he is scarf because I don't think that I'm in a, I, I don't think I'm in a good position then. It's interesting that uh, plus two Jolly Chomp doesn't outright kill Lando. It's only a roll, but I got lucky on the roll earlier. Maybe we can get lucky again and we can just kill this if it's Life Orb. It is Life Orb. We do not get lucky at all. It is physical Life Orb and it kills itself. Okay. So what now? I'm pretty sure you have to go the Scarf Urshifu. Yeah, you have to go into this. At which point, I can double into Tangrowth? My Tangrowth's full HP, so I can definitely just double into tank. Oh, I actually tank uh, three of these, so yeah, I can definitely just double into Tangrowth. If I get rid of the Scarf, then I think I win the game as well. If I can, like, knock off... I don't know what the Blissey's item might be. We haven't, like, seen what the Blissey's item is. Utilizing rough skin to my advantage late later um, to get chip on the Urshifu is worthwhile as well, but I'm definitely scared of the uh, the Blissey, what the Blissey might be. Close combat does 39. 
So what does that tell us? This is absolutely scarfed and it is adamant scarfed. Wait, what? It can't be adamant scarfed. There's no way. It is. How are you adamant scarf? Really not scared of Mimikyu or Yon Mega at all. Really not scared of Mimikyu or Yon Mega. That's crazy. I'm just going to Leech Seed then. It's really easy Leech Seed for me. In comes the Mawile, which we know is not going to kill us. I'm actually just going to Earthquake you this time, because I think you're probably just going to attack he Toxics, which is like not his best play, but whatever. I mean, I can still punish the Urshifu with Chip. If the Blissey comes in, I'm going uh, Hard Genesect, Urshifu. I'm knocking off. Yeah, there goes the Scarf. So now I'm pretty sure he just loses the game. Um, I will Leech Seed here just in case he doubles into Blissey. He does not. Genesect will get a special attack boost on this, so I don't really want to do that. Uh, what I can do is go Cinderace and just low kick to win, I think, though. So I'm going to do that. At 75%, I should definitely two-shot Blissey. Um, we get the low kick off on that. Blissey comes in. I'll just low kick. See what... It is Chopper. Okay. So we're not going to two-shot this then. Um, but I can go hard Genesect on this and like flinch it to death. Boom. And boom. GG's. Awesome! Pick up a nice huge win over Pokefan. We clinch ourselves into playoffs and potentially clinch a few other people depending on how the results of the rest of the games go. Really happy with how this game turned out. I think I really punished the, the Melodic and the Blissey well. I did get a little bit lucky. I'm not going to say I didn't, right? I did get a little bit lucky uh, with the Togetic getting flinched by Waterfall. I do think I probably could have played around that. His, his walls were way too passive this game. Blissey didn't even click a single attacking move. It just clicked Wish four times and Protect twice. Togetic only clicked Soft Boiled. Like, he was in a position where he had to click Soft Boiled there anyways as well, uh, which possibly gives me an in with Genesect the next turn. I'm really not sure why Genesect got an attack boost off of the Togetic. He must have had some weird EVs going on where he was like specially defensive for something as well, uh, I, which I don't know what it could possibly be. Maybe a Yon Mega Check. Maybe it was the Yon Mega Check, right? But um, yeah, really happy with how that turned out. We, I knew, I told Mike, I told Mike it was going to be Scarf or Shifu. And Scarf or Shifu just does not handle Tangrowth well enough. I mean, obviously it killed the Tangrowth, but I got way too much chip off. Uh, and I knocked off the Scarf, which just made it a non-threat at the end of the game there, because Garchomp, Genesect, and Cinderace all would have outsped it. He very clearly did not have Sucker Punch because he was a Scarf set. The Mawile was running enough speed to outspeed my Tangrowth, but um, he wasn't able to kill my Tangrowth at that range, and Earthquake wiped it out. And the Lando killed itself on my Garchomp, so... None of his offense was able to work well enough into my Tangrowth. My Slow King spread didn't even, like, come into effect. I clicked Psyshock once. The chop, uh, the Colberberry counterattack didn't have to come in at all. And Genesect put in Mad Work as a mixed set, but he didn't even see that I had Technoblast for the Mobile. So, really, really fun game. I had a blast playing this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Next week we take on Amish and the Singapore Sobble Squad. He is 7-3 currently, fighting for his playoff spot. He might not have to fight for his playoff spot, depending on some results this week. So it might be a meme game next week. I'll sort of like confer with him and and see what we're gonna what we're gonna do there. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll sort of see what's going on. But Amish is definitely like someone I could possibly be playing in uh, in playoffs. Pokevan looks like he's maybe not gonna make playoffs or slide into like an eighth seed sort of thing now. Also, uh, he's four and six after this game, and I'm eight and two. Um, so I, I don't have to worry too much about my my plans leaking or anything like that. And then in week 12, we play Lux, who's also struggling a little bit, but he's he's doing okay. I, I think he's like six and four. Um, I think he's like six and four now. So anyways, things to keep in mind. Again, we play uh, Amish and the Singapore Sobble Squad next week. So keep an eye out for that. And I will catch you guys next time.